I would like to talk about looping over two or more iterables at the same time. So an iterable is anything that you can loop over. The iterables we're going to be using here are lists. So we've got one list, we have a second list. We want to loop over both of them at the same time. So what we've got right now is a for loop that loops over one of these lists. We loop over fruits, we print out each of the fruits. Uh, if we were to put another for loop inside it, this wouldn't actually do what we want here. We'd be getting color and fruit, but we're getting one color, rather every color for each of the fruits. We instead want brown loquat because these two correspond to each other up here, they're in the same position. We also want orange jujube, green pear. We don't want green loquat, for example. We want only the things that correspond to each other. So we can't use a nested loop. That's a loop inside of a loop. We somehow need to loop over fruits at the same time as colors. So you might think we could kind of cheat here. We could grab uh, an index of sorts. We can use a number counting upward as we loop, use a numerate to count upward as we loop over our fruits interval to then use that as an index inside of colors. That's going to give us the corresponding values. Now this works, but it only works because we're working with two lists. These lists are sequences, meaning they can be indexed starting from zero. If we had something that wasn't a sequence, like a generator, a file, a set, a dictionary, lots of iterables in Python are not sequences, this is not going to work. We can't index non-sequences. So there's another built-in function that is called zip. Zip, you can give it any number of iterables. It will give you back an iterable, just like a numerate. So we can loop over the return value of zip. The return value you get back is going to be a tuple of each of the items in those two iterables, two or more iterables actually, that are in corresponding positions. So the first one from each, the second one from each, and so on. And it will stop at the shortest one. You almost always want to zip together iterables of the same length though. So uh, because this is a tuple and this is an assignment going on, we can use tuple unpacking here and do whatever we'd like with these variables. If something's important, you should give it a name and we're giving names to these values here. So if you need to uh, loop over multiple iterables at the same time, the best way to do that in Python is with the built-in zip function.